it? Yes, that's it. You got it. Woohoo! Hey, adventures, it's me, Shirley. Now, as you know, we're doing the top 10 scariest monsters for 2020, and I feel like we're a little bit behind. So let's r get right into this. So if you're a fan of D&D &D content and enjoy lore and product reviews, please hit that subscribe button. It really helps us out. Today, we're going to cover manticores. Now, are they evil tormentors of the innocent, or are they aerial support for evil humanoids? You decide. These savagely carnivorous man-eaters have razor-sharp claws and fangs. A head that closely resembles that of humans, the body of a lion, and the powerful wings of a dragon. A bushy, rough, bristled mane that runs down its back with a long tail that ends in a bulbous cluster of 12 lethal or paralytic venom spikes. Now these spikes are used to impale their intended prey at a distance while in flight or going in for a swoop attack. Some manacores even have been known to have tails like that of a giant scorpion with a venomous punch just as deadly. Known to hunt in mated pairs for better coverage and mutual safety, being found in mostly any climate, but prefer warmer climates. Manticores are capable of flying long distances for their prey with humans on the top of their menu. They are mostly known to make their lairs just beyond 20 miles outside of any human settlement. Usually giving live birth to one or three young, these young can take up to two years to be able to fend for themselves. They also have their fair share of creatures that fight with them for territorial rights. One of them is the Chimera, who look like evil three-headed science experiment. They have the hindquarters and head of a giant horned goat on their left side, the forequarters and head of a lion in the middle, with the head of a red dragon on the right side. They also have the wings of a red dragon. Another foe of the manticore is the griffin, which has the body, tail, and the back claws of a lion, along with the head, front claws, and wings of a great eagle. Then there's the peritons, which look to be a cross between a demonic-looking great eagle with the head of a stag. They have a big rack of horns and fangs. And lastly are the wavern, they are large winged lizards, said to be the distant relative of the dragon. Their tails have a poisonous sting and they have sharp teeth which could rip the flesh off of most humanoids. Trained manacores have been also known to give aerial support to orcs and bands of hobgoblins and bugbears. Hill giants have also been known to train manticores as creatures that guard their troves. The next time you see a manticore, you better beware. Their mate isn't that far behind. Now, we chose the manticore as our number six because they are deadly hunters from above who have keen sight. They also like to swoop down and rip the flesh off of any adventurer such as yourself. But they're deathly afraid of dragons and will avoid any contact them with any cost. So what do you think of our decision? Tell us below in the comments. A big thumbs up goes a long way. And while you're down there, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell icon so that you'll be notified when we put out new videos. Now over here, you can find our monster playlist. Until next time, thanks for watching.